okay if you were gonna start configuring this network so that it actually worked and you were gonna do it with um, static routes and default routes only no dynamic routing protocol like RIP or EIGERP or OSPF or something like that if you were just gonna set it up with static routes then how would this work well let's look first of all at this router over here it's got these four sub networks or these four networks attached which we've subnetted we started with a 192.168.2.0 slash 24 address space and we subnetted it I have it here to the 192.168.2.0 2.64 all with a slash 26 subnet mask and so this created four subnets with 64 hosts in each subnet alright I'll put this over here so you can see that so right here we needed 60 hosts and now we have 64 hosts for each of these networks 62 of which are usable okay so what would you need to do for this router well this is what we call a stub network or a um, a uh, router on a stick in other words this router has only one way out of the network and that is going this way so for setting up um, routing for this uh, router all you would need is one route and it would look something like this you would just have to configure in your Cisco router you'd be in global config mode right which would look something like this and you would put in a route like this IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 space 0, 0, 0, 0 space out of serial 0 slash 0 or something like that in this case it's 0 slash 0 slash 0 and that's because this interface is the serial 0 and that'll send default traffic all routes any packets going to any networks that we don't know about will go to this default route this default static route and that's all you would need and believe it or not you could do this same static route for this network and this network in other words all three of these routers here at the bottom right are all stub networks or stub routers with one route out to get to the internet so all you would have to do is put in a default route going out of the serial zero zero interface now for router zero here right this router would need a default route going this way outside of its um, serial zero one slash one slash one interface and then it would need some routes to these networks and what you would do is you could do it by configuring three summary routes a summary route for each one of these networks so let's do a summary route and explain how that would happen whoops okay um, I'll open this up so first of all okay if we want to do a summary route so that this router router 0 can reach these four subnets off this network here we just need to do a summary route for the 2.0 2.64 and 2.128 and 2.192 well how do we do that we do that by writing the entire thing out in binary and and then finding the last common bit and that will be our subnet mask so let's write the whole thing out in binary really quickly all right so that is 192 this is 168 one two three four six seven all right that's 168 I believe um, and then that is two and and that's zero so that's 192 168.2.0 right and then I will just copy that All right, in binary, and so 192.168.2, and this is 0, and then 64 would look like that, and 128 
would look like that, and 192 would look like that. Okay, so these are these four networks written in binary, and if we look across here, we can see that the um, default summary, well not the default, the summary route for this network would be 192, whoops, 168, 2, dot, 0, and the last common, the last common bit that these four addresses have in common. If you're going across, they all have 192s, they all have 168s, all of these are the same. They have all these the same, too, and then these zeros all the way here to this zero is the same, and then here is where you have differences. In this la last octet, the 128 bit here, and this, this first bit here on the left, you have two zeros on these two, and then two ones here, so that's different. So the last common bit is the 24th bit from left to right, so the summary route would be 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And that would be the summary route for, um, for router 0 that it could put in its table. So router 0 would just need to have a route that would look something like this. Um, R0, right, would have a route that looked um, something like this. In global config mode, in global config mode, it would put in a static route, IP route 192.168.2.0, and then it would put in the subnet mask, which would be, and then the interface that it would go out of, which in this case would be serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And that would be the route for router 0 um, right there to reach all four networks on router 1. So router 0 would just put in this, and that would be a summary route.